Hello, this is the Historical Commission. The date is September 13, 2022, and um, we will open with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Get up, get down. It gets tougher in this age, doesn't it? But we can still do it. Yeah, barely. Um, so we're happy to be here, or at least we're here. That's so we're happy to be. Uh, on my agenda, we have minutes of the June meeting, which you had sent out to you. And has anybody any questions, corrections? Hearing none, do I have a motion to accept? Motion a to motion. accept. One, one correction. The, well, it's not a correction. Never mind. I'm just going to say the meeting starting at 7, not 6.30. But Okay. If you want to change it, go ahead. Don't worry about it. Second. Okay. No discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. One thing done. Moving right along. I have on here listed reorganization, but we're missing a couple of people tonight. So one, I don't want to do it without a full board. Sure. And two, I want to give fair warning so you can dust up your resumes. Home faces. Everybody's looking to happen. So what we do by reorganizing next next session, um, it's it's important that we do it when we get new members on, or we should be doing it at least yearly, because it's a chance to mix things up about a, a bit. And there are only three positions that we actually deal with: the, the chairman, the vice chairman, and the clerk. So it's not like there's a lot of things that have to be covered, but it is important that we discuss them and make sure we're happy with with what we have or what we want to have. So if you're thinking of jumping in and want to do something, um, you got a month to decide. So plan your speeches. I'm getting a shifty eye here. <laughs> All right, future events for the town. I have some. First one on my big, big list. Can you read it from there? You, you should be able to read that. I can read The Black Tavern. Foggy, foggy, but I can read it. The Black Tavern this week, September 15, 7 o'clock, uh, at the Tavern, Dudley Hill, Center Road. The title of the program is Nellie Twardzik, Dudley's First Lady of Baseball, and the presenter is Patricia Thompson Byron. Hey. This was her mother, for those of you that may be <laughs> Go, Ma. <laughs> and um, we're pleased. It's going to be fun. You want to say a couple of words about it? Come on, get, get ready for us. Give us a little promo. Well, I um, I have in my possession my mother's um, six scrapbooks that were put together by her brother Bill and her boyfriend at the time, Greeny Daniels. Greeny? Oh, no kidding. Really? <laughs> she went to several proms with him. Really? Oh, yes. And um, I've been reading every single article in all six scrapbooks, which I've never done before. And I have been in between laughter and tears through the whole time, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Great. Yeah. All right, so the highlights of the presentation will be, tell me two things, generally. Come to the uh, black No, tavern. I'll be there. I know you But will. I'm trying to entice people. Who oh, say, I well. I don't know why I go to that. It, it's a story of her, her beginnings in baseball, any obstacles that she faced, um, injuries that she might have sustained, um, funny happenings along the way, and how she ultimately 
made it to the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. There you go. Baseball Hall of Fame yeah. in Cooperstown, folks. Well, BHS, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Doc Finnegan. We're going to talk about him. Yep. So be there, folks, Thursday, September 15, 7 o'clock at the Tavern. It's free. And we always manage to have some baked goodies later. Always entice them in the door and then... Baseball uh, the cupcakes? or <laughs> uh, You still have time to bake. Oh, I'm not baking. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I would recommend them highly, <laughs> having tested uh, several. Ah, okay. Well, we, have, um, we do have goodies. We have bakers at the tavern for different events and really we'll see mm -hmm. what we get wow. oh, always we always yeah. have refreshments. Program refreshments. oh there's some knockout stuff there too yeah we don't stuff. yeah there's always good. a time then i won't call in sick <laughs> no 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 you can't call in sick we know where you live i know we'll come and get you great uh the second thing i want to talk about is the october 1st saturday craft fair uh, on the hill, and it's in conjunction also with the Grange, and uh, so it's an apple fest and craft fair. So the crafters will be on the tavern side, plus um, a fair portion of the town common, and also on the town common. Tradesmen on the common. Tradesmen on the common. In case you've ever missed it, how many you got? Five. Blacksmith, Tim Smith. Shoemaker, a seamstress, and a cooper. Wow. All in costume, all demonstrating, 9.30 to 3.30. Wow. Indeed. Okay. So 9.30 for them starts it, and um, and they'll hang in through the whole craft fair. The craft fair itself is starting at 10. 10 to 3. To 3, right. Um, and it's always a great event, and I think we're going to have a super weekend. It's warming up again. Is agriculture going to be there? Is agriculture going to be there? Um, we expect the agricultural the seed, committee seeds changed, I think. to have some things maybe on the common, common, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Nobody said anything. No. We've there's there's space for them, so we'll see. But the Grange has quite a uh, a lot of activity going on, and apple crisp and. Um, I assume, that, I don't know if the Snack Shack is open. I would think so. Snack Shack will be open, the French fries will be open. Yeah, there you go. I'm covered. Because I didn't get to the Woodstock Fair, I didn't have their French fries. <laughs> so come on out, October 1, it's gonna be a great day. Come to Dudley Hill if you have never been there. It's about the tallest place, almost, in Dudley. Um, just come up and uh, Head for Nichols College and the Congregational Church, and you can't miss us. We're right there on the top. All right, the other thing, October 20, which is a Thursday night, we have a presentation by Dr. Joseph Mitchell. He's a professor at Nichols College, and he's an archaeologist. And he has been digging history on Dudley Hill. So he's unearthed some very interesting artifacts. Those will be on display. He'll talk about what it is to be an archaeologist and to um, search for items from prior populations that have been around. He's got some really neat old Indian stuff. Uh, he's, he's actually got quite a few little items that came from just behind the Black Tavern barn. It's one of his big sites. Yeah. Where is this happening? It's going to be in the, the barn itself. In the tavern in barn. In the tavern barn. 7 o'clock, October 20th. And we'll have flyers out on that, so you'll, you'll see them around town. And if you have any questions on any of these, you can go to the Black Tavern website, to events, and they're right there. And then way down in November 17th, uh, also Thursday night, we will have Historic Gardening, Christine Higginbottom. Christy. Christy. I have her as Christine. Is it? Yeah. Well, 
Okay. She goes by Christy. All right. We were always so formal, you know. Christine Higginbotham will do the historic gardening presentation. So we've known her for about 40 years. Yeah. All you, you don't hold that against us. Yeah. No. Nope. Poor thing. All you gardeners out there, that if you had questions about certain plantings that would have been indigenous to this area, this is a good time to to yeah. come up and see the program. She's also the person that um, prepared for us a lot of information for the village cemetery. So as we go forward, putting some plantings in, it's right off the list that she she yeah. recommended. Yeah, I asked her to uh, focus her theme on how to describe it. If you have a historic house, what would be an appropriate landscape for that house? Mm -hmm. So if you have like an 1850s uh, Queen Anne, what plantings are appropriate? If you have a 1790s Federal, what's appropriate? That's what she's going to try to focus towards. Yeah, not to worry about those 1950s. Well, she might. I don't know. Sense. I don't know how far up she's going to go. <laughs> I never know with her. I'm going to see Whatever they did, it was always a piece of shrubbery against the house that overgrew yep. the picture window. Right. <laughs> so yeah. that's, enough, that's, that's it for the Black Taverns events. I want to see you there, folks. And if I don't know you, say hi, Ed. Tell me, tell me who you are. Um, any other events anybody know of that we need to chat? No. Okay. Preservation projects, the village cemetery update. Um, I just said we're we're still looking at plantings, and during the drought we just avoided the idea completely. Now that we're getting back into some, I'm hoping normal weather, and it's a good time in the fall to do some transplants. Um, we will working with the. Uh, Dudley Highway Department uh, come up with some plantings to begin to soften the look of the cemetery. I should say that we still have a problem with the sidewalk, so that's blocked off, which isn't the prettiest thing, but we don't want people walking on the sidewalk. You can still access the cemetery. You just go in one of the gates. Uh, we don't recommend you try to go over the hill on that little sidewalk. It's too dangerous. All right. Do you have something else you want? Uh, I just finished up a whole bunch of stuff, and i got some more to do, but when that's done, okay. maybe in October I'll try to get some fence rails up to give us a sense of what they're going to look like. I would suggest letting them go through the winter, yep. and then we'll see what they look like weathered. How they hand handle it. Yeah. yeah. I'll try to do a, a cedar yellow pine and maybe a painted yellow pine. Mm -hmm. I had an idea on the bolts. Yep. If we've got plain steel yep. with the square bolts, and I could weld the heads. Hmm? Weld, the, weld the nut on the bolt to make a head, and then we can just cut it whatever length you need. And if you grind it down, it's going to look like a regular bolt. Oh, it? yeah. And you, you, I'm I'm perfectly happy with carriage bolts, which are another 18th, 19th century type of okay. bolt. So, uh, but what was on the what was in what's in the original stone posts are square headed bolts, square head nut, and anywhere from one to a dozen round washers is what's there. And the washers are approximately that big. Mm -hmm. the, the bolt is a half inch. Okay. And the holes are somewhere between five eighths and three quarters, maybe. The, by the time the stone drill got through, yeah. So they're not going to fit. That's what the washers do, I guess, is tighten it up. Uh, I'm still not sure what I want to look at. Uh, I think uh, when we get through, uh, maybe the November meeting. We, we can make a final decision unless you guys want to do it tonight. I don't know if we want to go with the well, no, that was just the four inch thick or the two inch thick. Two by six or four by six is half lapped. 
I mean, I, I can get nominal two by sixes, supposedly both in yellow pine and red cedar from uh, Home no. Depot. Uh, Lowe's probably has them too. I'm not sure who else does around here. They're not. They're not as bad as I thought they would be. I can get them up to 16 feet. Really? That's what they advertise. I, I may have to do it by ordering them. Yeah. You know, they, they, they may not be sitting there in the. I'm, I've never seen anything like that in the, no. in the building. No. But they do have them on their website. And as far as square bolts, you said you had a source. I, I thought I did, but when we did further checking into it, there was, it was a limit. And the, you need them threaded all the way. No, I, I just need them to be threaded probably to within three inches of the head. All right, but do we, do you have a some type of length we can go with? Or you want to? I'm going to or? say minimum eight inches. All right. The the thing is, is that the the posts vary anywhere from two and a half inches thick to like six inches thick, mm -hmm. and then you're going to put an inch and a half of wood on front of that and then washers and you know it's it's, it's a little tense there. Probably going to take a nine or ten inch bolt for mm -hmm. some of them. I mean I can go back and kind of do a census and see what we need. There are also at least two maybe three posts that are knocked down I'm not sure if they're intact. I can't tell if the base is intact or if it's snapped off. There is one post on the back line that is definitely snapped off. It's snapped off at the bottom hole. Is that repairable, you think? With a couple I mean, of if you're not going to put any weight on it, yeah. you know, it's not going to be holding cattle in or right. trying to stop a, anything. It's, it's, you know, if you, if you mortared it and with a, with a decent epoxy or something, it'll probably hold. Mm -hmm. And then we could, I mean, I'm assuming the top is still there. I don't remember. All right. But yeah, I got to go back and really. Okay. There's also a couple trees that are in the line of the fences, so they got to come down. A couple of maples, I think they are. They're on the back also, golf course side. Well, maybe you and I and um, Jeff can do a little yeah. tour. Uh, for what it's worth, uh, sometime in the middle of October, I am starting treatment five days a week for nine weeks. All right. So, if we're going to do it, we should probably do it before the middle of October. Okay. Probably before Columbus Day. Let me call Jeff. Okay. Um, just because once that starts, I have no idea what I'm going to be like. Right. I may just be spending the rest of my time in bed. Buckle, buckle up. Right. I don't know. I just don't know. I've never experienced this before. Right. Cancer ain't fun. All right. All right. A village cemetery. Um, next item, Stevens Mill demo process. I, I haven't talked to the owner recently, um, but we're about due for a chat, and I'll make sure for the next for the November meeting that I have an update on, on what they're doing. Do you doing. know what type of apartments are going in there? I mean, nice. Nice apartments. Uh, Tall apartments. Young family, on, senior uh, citizen. I mean, is there a, um, a category of? My understanding no. was studio to two bedroom. Yeah, but they're, they're not um, going to be, you know, four senior citizens. You can be a senior citizen in there, I see. but they're I just, not yeah, assigned okay. that way. Studio and two bedroom? Up to two studio, one bedroom, two bedroom. Yeah, that's my understanding. I don't know that for sure. Yeah, but they're they're pretty easy people to communicate with. Yeah, the selectman might know, or the planning board. Whatever. It'll be lovely. Oh, I'm sure. And the location will be great. I know probably be pretty expensive too. I don't know. They won't. You know, it won't be your run of the mill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you could sell your house and buy an apartment. You know. Yeah. 
That's what we do at this age. <laughs> you can't you can't do what the douche arms did and sell your house and become the caretakers of the town. Mm -hmm. um, all right. I've done that. I've done that. Any other business not known when the agenda was posted? Nope. Not hearing anything. Okay. Any concerns? Member concerns? Any comments from our guests? Oh, we have none. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Motion to adjourn. All right. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. We are out.